With the wonderful Laverne Cox rising to fame and Bruce Jenner's groundbreaking interview, transgender issues are finally making it mainstream. So naturally, we're going to science this up. Hi everyone, Julia and Julian here for D News. Transgender means a person identifies as a gender other than what they were assigned at birth. Cisgender, on the other hand, are those who identify as the same gender they were assigned at birth. Unfortunately, being trans is a much more difficult path than being cis. Transgender individuals face a world filled with violence, erasure, and ignorance. But by being true to themselves, they open up a road for so many others to follow. Still, why would anyone purposefully subject themselves to a life of difficulty? Well, it's not a choice. It's who they are, and science can back that up. One study published in the Journal of Neuroscience identified networks in the brain associated with gender. Using diffusion-based magnetic resonance tomography imaging, the researchers looked at the brains of people who are transgender as well as female and male controls. They found microstructures or connections to the brain that differed significantly between the male and female subjects. However, the networks in the brains of those who identified as transgender seemed to take up a middle position. The researchers also found a link between these networks and the amount of testosterone in the bloodstream, suggesting that sex hormones affect how these structures form in the brain, which is supported by earlier research. Right. Some regions of the brain show difference based on gender. In one study published in the Journal of Psychiatric Research, scientists used MRI techniques to scan the brains of 18 people who were assigned female but identify as male, and 24 male and 19 female heterosexual controls. The researchers found that the white matter of female to male individuals who received no hormone therapy more more closely resembled brains of the male subjects than the female subjects. Another study by that same research group, also published in the Journal of Psychiatric Research, focused on those who were assigned male at birth but identified female. The researchers used similar techniques as the other study and found that their white matter microstructures fell between the measurements of male and female subjects. One of the authors of the study concluded, their brains are not completely masculinized and not completely feminized, but they still feel female. And if it's a matter of brain wiring, a lot of kids would know early, and they do. In one study published in the Graduate Journal of Social Science found that 76% of participants knew they were transgender before they left elementary school. A small study published in the journal Psychological Science found that kids as young as five who identify as trans showed a consistency in gender identity across various measures. I actually saw Laverne Cox speak at an event at Rutgers and she said exactly the same thing. The researchers asked 32 transgender kids aged five to 12 questions about gender and under the implicit association test to see how kids identify with various things. Using the IAT, the researchers could see how quickly the kids associated gender with the concepts of me and not me. It's a fast test, so they don't have a lot of time to think about it, they just respond. The researchers found that the kids' responses were indistinguishable from their cisgendered peers. The transgender girls responded the same as cisgender girls, and the transgender boys responded just like the cisgender boys. The researchers concluded that their study provided clear evidence to support that transgender children are not confused, delayed, pretending, or oppositional. They instead show responses entirely typical and expected for children with their gender identity. We know that gender is a complex and varied issue. Even Facebook recognized that reality. To learn more about that, check out this video right here. So in addition to a variety of new trans options, including trans man, trans woman, and trans person, Facebook now also includes intersex, gender fluid, pangender, and more. All right, got any questions on gender and sexuality? Leave some down in the comments below, and we could answer it in a future video. Just remember Wheaton's Law, guys. Come on. Also, like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of D News.